we will talk about six pack and eight pack and when we say six pack we usually mean abdominal muscles so six pack is not scientific term it's just abdominal muscle which is called rectus abdominis this rectus abdominis is long and flat muscle and it's segmented it's segmented by connective tissue bands usually three bands and it creates appearance or six pack sometimes we have four instead of three connective tissue bands and we get eight packs so only difference between six pack and eight pack is that some people have these four connective tissue bands on the muscle but some people has only three that's the difference now let's say why we need this muscle at all it supports trunk aids in breathing helps maintaining posture and it's important for bending forward that's why we need this it's one of the core muscle and we need it to support our trunk now let's say what uh, exercises are most effective uh, for grow inside this muscle uh, crunches are very effective exercise for it plank and uh, squats but it's not about exercise only because uh, even more important than exercise is to be lean to have a low fat percentage low body fat percentage it's most crucial uh, average man has 20 to 25 percent of uh, body fat and if men wants to uh, have prominent uh, six-pack he needs to have only 10 to 12 percent of body fat for women it's much uh, higher for for women 18 percent of body fat is enough uh, to have visible uh, abdominal uh, muscles and uh, abdominal six-pack but at this case here this is bodybuilder as i see um, at this case uh, body fat percentage will be around 14. so such prominent six-pack required very low body fat percentage and for men such prominent six pack requires around eight eight to six percent of body fat but this low percentage of body fat does not all uh, does not always means that it's ideal and ideal for our uh, health it's only uh, appearance it's only aesthetic it's not it does not mean that it's healthy because we have many studies and according to them the ideal uh, body fat percentage for men it's around 15 so for some men even they have around 15 percent of body fat six pack is not pronounced so it does not mean that it's healthy always uh, and we have inverse relationship when person has very low uh, body fat uh, he has increased risk of death so uh, if person has high body fat percentage or very low body fat percentage he in both cases he has increased risk of death it is called all cause mortality so uh, we have u-shaped relationship ideal is around 15 percent body fat and below it or higher it is not uh, is not very healthy of course we have range for example from 15 to 20 is healthy range of body fat but optimal and ideal is around 15 now let's say how we can uh, how we can help our body um, to have six packs uh, reverse crunches are considered very effective for it um, also weighted crunches are also important for 
uh, upper abs and reverse crunch are important for uh, increased size of lower abs that's how we can exercise uh, this our muscles our abdominal muscles uh, but uh, again uh, six pack does not mean that person is stronger or healthier uh, but it's only aesthetical form of course uh, but of course it means that person is exercising in many cases and uh, people who exercise regularly they live longer generally that's true correlation that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now